Well, today it's the Cheshire Autumn VSCC Rally. I thought I'd just pop over to the start point and come and have a look and just see what vintage cars are going to turn up. There are a few post-war classics here as well, but it's mainly vintage. Here we've got a wonderful old Elvis Silver Eagle. Alongside that, a very nice little Lancia. And the Vauxhall 3098 YD5735. This appears at a lot of vintage meetings around here. That's a proper, proper used vintage sports car of the 1920s. See what else is here. Another Alvis. Is this a 1250? It's quite a nice morning. Bit of a chilly breeze, but that won't put put anyone off, I'm sure. And over here, Fraser Nash BMW FMC 119. This appears at lots of VSCC events around here and probably elsewhere in the country. I've seen this at Alton Park and Loughton and Prescott and so on. Next to the Fraser Nash, we've got an MG. And a very nice Austin 7, one of several that make it here. This is a four-seat tour, about the look of it. Not quite sure what time the vehicles depart, so I'll have a quick walk around while they're still here. Another MG there. A very rare little vintage light car, this is a Gwyn. It's a lovely little car that is. One of the several of the post-war classic cars taking part today is this 121 Amazon. It's on twin car retters, a bit like a 122S. This is used for various road rallies. The owner's had it four years or so. These are really popular in historic rallying, very solid old birds. This is a 1965 car. We've got a Mark II Mini Cooper. An MGC GT, the six cylinder version of the MGB. Alongside that, back to vintage cars, and it's another Austin 7. Bit of a boat tail. Super little car, I'm not quite sure what the name of that body is. It's not an Ulster. It's fabric bodied. Really nice. I'm not too well up on vintage Alvises, so if anyone can tell me what this particular saloon is, I would appreciate it. Certainly unusual, I've never seen this one before anyway. And this magnificent vehicle is a Lagonda. Absolutely stunning car. This is road rallying in comfort and style. A 
you've got a favourite in this selection of vintage cars, please put a note into the comments. Uh, the last VSCC event that I did a short video for was for Loughton Park Hill Climb earlier this year, so check that out if you've not seen it already. Alongside the Alvis and the Lagonda, we've got a star. Let's have a quick peek inside. There's the mother-in-law's seat in the back of the star. Next to this little Alvis special we've got a Ford Model A. These are really popular in vintage events, trials, especially they're particularly popular in pretty solid, pretty bomb proof and they've got good spares availability so if you're going to go vintage trialling either buy an Austin 7 or a Ford Model A. This one looks great. Another lovely little Austin 7, this is a chummy, fairly early one with the headlamps on the scuttle as opposed to the front. Again I'll check the year of that, UE5613. Great little cars these are, so popular in VSCC events. Fraser Nash now, a very smart petrol can on the running board here. Let's have a quick inspection of that. Alongside that we've got a souped up Mini from 1973. Hello. Shall we dine? Another Fraser Nash, this one on the move. Maybe. And here, an Elvis. And if you like oily rag, here's a fantastic chummy. All oh, looks very original to me. Quite a rakish, sporty side exiting exhaust there, which hints at plenty of off-road activity, a bit of trialing by the look of it. What a fantastically original little car. A very handsome sunbeam here, all fully kitted out for long distance touring.
Very smart indeed, as is this Alfa Giulietta Sprint. What a gorgeous little car that is. Let's have a closer look at this. Absolutely stunning. Alongside the Alpha, we've got a very nice little bull nosed Morris Cowley. There's the Model A lining up. This Model A, which I've seen before, is very well travelled. We'll just have a look at the spare wheel and tyre here. There's that phrase Nash that was moving before. Lurking over here amongst some modern tin, there's another Alvis, 1250 I think, someone will let me know if it's not, but another very smart one. And sat hiding over here in the corner is a wonderful 1929 Veloset. I saw this riding in before, I managed to grab a quick photo of it but I thought I'd come have a quick look now. I was really interested to see this pull up as well. This is a late teens Dodge, very similar to my 1924, slightly different body shape, and this is a two seater. But mechanically, it's exactly the same as my car, although his fuel gauge appears to work. Of course, very much rivals back in the day Ford Model A and Dodge. But before Dodge Brothers went into producing cars, they were actually a casting firm and they produced many of the castings that went into the Ford Model T. So there is actually a link between the old Dodge Brothers company and the Fords. Well, the entrants are plotting their routes now, they've only just been given instructions, so we'll go and wander over to the other side of the road and film them as they leave, I think. Next up is the Elvis Saloon. And following the Elvis is the late vintage Ford Model A. This Fraser Nash BMW sounds absolutely fantastic. Next up, one of the Fraser Nashes.
Well, everyone's headed off on the run now. I think they'll be stopping back here a little bit later for the midway halt and then back again for the final gathering. Uh, I don't think I'll be sticking around much longer. We've seen all the cars now that entered. So I'm going to head off home. So I hope that was of interest. Please check out some of the other classic and vintage card videos on the channel and more like this along very, very soon. Bye for now.